how do you say his name? Andre Bra here. Bra here actor on Homicide and Brooklyn Nine Nine dies at 61. He was best known for playing stoic police officer on two acclaimed but very different television series. One an intense drama, the other a comedy. I hope I'm saying this right. I can get roasted for it. Andre Breuer, a, pro a prolific and critically acclaimed actor whose simmering intensity and commanding presence earned him an Emmy Award for his role as detective on television drama Homicide Life on the Street and laughs as a stern, tart-tongued police officer on the sitcom Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Died on Monday, he was 61. Wow, 61. That's not even that old. My parents are older than that. That's really sad. His death was confirmed on Tuesday by his longtime publicist, Jennifer Allen. She said Mr. Breuer, who lived in New Jersey, had died after a brief illness. She did not say where he died. Projecting a no-nonsense authority, Mr. Breuer was natural for public roles, which off also included turns as a detective opposite Telly Savalas. Sav in television movie reboots of the 1970s police series Kojak in 1989 and 1990 and as another cop in Hack, a series about a disgraced police officer who becomes a taxi driving vigilant, a vigilante as seen on CBS from 2002 to 2004. Even so, Mr. Brahir, uh, a Stanford University graduate who trained at the Juilliard School New York also enjoyed a fruitful and multifaceted career as a stage, film, and television actor in roles that did not involve a badge or sidearm. He made his film debut as Corporal Thomas Searless, a proper Boston intellectual turned soldier, in the 1989 film Glory about the storied 54th Massacre, or Massacre, whoa, Massachusetts Regiment, one of the Union's first black fighting units in the Civil War. That film also starred as Denzel Washington. Morgan. The film also starred Denzel Washington and Morgan Freeman, who won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role, and Matthew Broderick as the regiment's white abolitionist leader, uh, Colonel Robert Goode Shaw, who was also a childhood friend of Mr. Brahir's character. I'd rather not do work. I'd rather not work than do a part I'm ashamed of. Mr. Brahir said in an interview that year with the New York Times, I can tell you now that my mother will be proud of me when she sees me in this world. Among his other big screen roles were an ego maniacal actor in Get on the Bus, 1996, Spike Lee's talky road movie about a group of black men wanting to travel to Washington, the Million Man March, the captain of a, seas a capsized ocean liner in Poseidon, the 2006 remake of the 1970s disaster movie, The Poseidon Adventure, and the United States Secretary in Defense in Salt. And the United States Secretary of Defense in Salt. 2010, an espionage thriller starring Angelina Jolie. In one of his last films, Mr. Brahir brought gravitas to the role of Dean Bequette, the former executive actor or executive editor on the New York Times. Wow, I'm butchering these. Why would anyone come watch me if this is how I'm butchering articles? Sorry, but <laughs> Jesus. Uh, um, my God. A former executive editor of the New York Times in She Said 2022, a drama about two Times reporters' efforts to document sexual abuse by the film mogul Harvey Weinstein, which helped me ignite the hashtag Me Too movement. He also respected. He was also a respected stage actor who appeared in several New York Shakespeare Festival productions, including Measure for Measure, Twelfth Night, As You Like It, and Henry Fifth, Sixth, Fifth, Sixth, Fifth. I can't remember V. Henry V. <laughs> for which his performance in the title role earned him an Obie Award in 1997. But it was his role as Detective Frank Pembleton on Homicide that proved in a Indelible cheese. Five. Thank you, culprit. <laughs> uh, like I say, some articles are really hard to read. A lot of them are. Um, like to articulate at least. Your brain just like breaks while you're doing it. We had a lot of great, incredibly talented actors on that show, but we could see that he would be the quarterback of the team. 
Tom Fontana, the show's executive producer, was quoted saying in a recent article, recent article, oh my god, in a recent article variety, he has great nobility about him. While the role made him a familiar face in prime time, Mr. Brahir later expressed reservations about the historic portrayals of police officers on television, particularly in the wake of Black Lives Matter protests. Doesn't want police. That's reservations about the hero. Okay, I don't know what that is. I look up after all these decades of playing these characters and I say to myself, I have been so pervasive that I have been inside the storytelling and I too have fallen prey to the mythology I've, that's been built up. He said in 2020 interview with Friday. It's almost like the air you breathe or the water that you swim in. It's hard to see. Because there are so many cop shows on television, that's where the public gets its information about the state of policing. Cops breaking the law to, quote, defend the law is a real terrible slippery slope. Oh, I think that's maybe that's some of the uh, roles that he played. Very much like, I don't care, I'm doing my own thing. With Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Mr. Breyer would get the opportunity to upend some of those cop show cliches by lampooning them. Andre... Andre Keith Breyer was born in Chicago on July 1st, 1962, and grew up in the city's west side. His mother, Sally, worked for the United States Postal Service. His father, Floyd, was a heavy equipment operator at the state of Illinois. For the state of Illinois. We live in the ghetto, he told the New York Times in 2014. I could have pretended I was hard or tough and not a square. I wound up not getting in trouble. I don't consider my spell, myself to be especially wise. But I will say it's pretty clear that some people want to get out, and some people don't. I want it out. Well, he grew up poor, okay. Mr. Breyer attended St. Ignatius College Prep, a prestigious Jesuit high school in Chicago, and later earned a scholarship to Stanford University. His father, who wanted him to be an engineer, was furious when he gravitated towards acting instead. Show me black actors who are earning a living, he recalled his father told him. What the hell are you going to do? Juggle and travel the country? After graduating from Stanford with a major in mathematics, Mr. Brahir earned a Master of Fine Arts degree at the Juilliard School. Mr. Brahir insisted on living in New Jersey, even though he often worked in California. Among his other roles in acclaimed television series, he played an unorthodox physician in the ABC drama Gideon's Crossing. I think I've actually seen that one. 2000, 2001, and the car salesman Owen... Guru Jr. on the TNT series Men of a Certain Age, 2009 to 11. He also starred in the sixth final season of Paramount Plus legal drama Good The Good Fight, 2017 to 2022. Mr. Brahir won an Emmy for Homicide in 1998 and in 1998 and another in 2006 for his role as the steely leader of a heist crew in the FX miniseries Thief set in New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina. Mr. Brahir survived by his wife. His, Mr. Brahir is survived by his wife, the actress Amy Brabson, his sons Michael, Isaiah, and John Wesley. His brother Charles Jennings and his mother. His father died in 2011. Oh, it yeah, I understand that sentence. Okay. Uh, he took the marketed he took the marketed detour into comedy in 2013 with Brooklyn Nine Nine, playing Captain Raymond Holt. Uh oh, did my internet just pop out? I think my internet just popped out. We're good. Oh well, we'll keep going. It says it's green, but got a notification from some of the chats. Okay, weird. Um, like Captain Raymond Holt. In an erudite, if still pres precedent, precinct, you never saw me disconnect. Okay, I just got a notification from the, the some of the streams saying you've now connected to the chat. I'm like, well, I thought I was connected before. Um, he received four Emmy nominations and won two Critics' Choice Awards for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. It was a counterintuitive role on a number of levels. For once, Mr. Bra here had little experience playing for laughs. Indeed, it was a joke on the show that his character was so rigid he had to strain to smile, even if he was always good for a devastating wisecrack. I've never done it before, he told Variety. Am I any good? I remember turning to my wife and asking her, Is this funny? 
And she said, yes, of course, you're not being, de not being deceived. But I kept looking at myself, looking at it, saying to myself, is this good? I couldn't really judge. <laughs> he also flouted stereotypes with his portrayal of Captain Holt as a gay character whose sexual orientation is merely a matter of fact, not a source of As long as there is no pink hot pants and singing YMCA, then everything is okay, Mr. Breyer said in a 2018 video interview. Typically, when you see gay characters on shows, they're goofballs or caricatures, he added. But this is one more facet of Holt, as opposed to being Holt's defining characteristic. Uh, so that's what's important to me. His teenage son said, asked him, you're playing a gay police captain? He said, no, I'm playing the police captain who's gay. So we have to sit down and understand what the distinction is. Uh, he was a really good actor, Culprin said. I thought he was gay in real life, and he had a wife and kids. That's nuts how good he was. Yeah, well, he was, I, I think that was a really good. Like, I've only seen a little bit of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I do think that's a big distinction, especially when creating art. And I like to try and emphasize this with a lot of people um, about, like, what, how are you defining moments, right? How are you defining your characters? And this is an excellent example where he is playing just a person and it's so subtle that he's gay in the uh in the show itself that um that you like assume that it's like a character trait that they just brought in from the outside and that's really good acting that is like that is that is like what you want from a character that you build in type in a style of show Um, stop streaming now and you're not allowed back till you watch all the seasons. See you in three days. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, why don't we pull an XQC and just do a, uh, a, a stream watch party and we'll watch all the seasons on No, <laughs> That would be, t yeah, you know, eh? <laughs> anyways, very sad. That does seem go. He was very good in the shows that I've seen him in. Rest in peace.